What's going on guys? It's Mikey Tang from the house coming to you with another ball video. But before we get into it, I want to invite you to head to thehousebowling.com to check out cool merch like this TV Bowling Supply hoodie. You could represent the world famous TV Bowling Supply yourself or any of your favorite house members shirts and hoodies as well as tumblers. Now back to the video. What we have for you today is the brand new RST X1. Uh, no bells and whistles in this video, just straight up filth. I'll be throwing some strikes, some nine pins, maybe sneak a messenger in there. And I'll also be comparing it to the Rubicon. Uh, both have the same layout, my five by four by three, which is my standard asymmetric layout. Uh, if you want to check out the video on my typical asymmetric layouts, you can probably find it somewhere in the channel. But for now, let's just get straight to the strikes. Just a quick little recap on what we just saw there. Uh, as you can see, the RST X1 is significantly stronger in the mid lane, and I think that's due to the stronger core as well as the cover stock being nano compared to the Rubicon, which is just regular E tracks. Um, you can see when I threw shots in the same spot with the Rubicon as I did with the RST X1, the RST got through the pins a lot better and it actually picked up earlier. So you love to see that in oil. Uh, you wanna make sure your ball is reading in the right spot as well as getting through the pins the right way. And I think that cover and core combination on the RST is absolutely money. Um, I thought the Rubicon was amazing as is, but seeing the RST X1 do what it did, um, I'm thoroughly excited to get back out there in tournaments and start throwing these two balls together. Thanks for watching the house. Uh, stay tuned and subscribe for more videos like this one as well as coaching videos and any other bowling tips. Leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for us or anything you want us to do. Uh, like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, don't click the don't like button because that would be uncool. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting us at all times and we'll see you in the next video.